Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about something that's very unusual, a very weird condition which I have never seen before but I have heard of it and it's called Cortard's Delusion. Not very exciting, right? Well, the other name for it, and I'll tell you, is Walking Corpse Syndrome. Yes, not like the metal band, like this is a real disease. Like, I thought Cat Scratch Fever was not real. It was just a song that is also real. Different video. Anyway, we are talking about this disease that causes the patients to believe that they are either dead, they are decaying or putrefying, they are missing blood and limbs, or they simply are, don't exist. How weird is that? Okay, let's get into it. So there are three stages with this disease. First one is the germination stage where the patient starts to have some psychiatric symptoms. Then it moves into the blooming stage, which is where the patient starts to express what they are feeling, that they feel like they are dead or they no longer exist, things like that. And then it moves into the chronic stage where they start to have uh, stronger delusions, hallucinations about what they think is real, and it uh, persists at this point. So usually this is something that comes along with another psychiatric illness, but not always. Uh, some neurologists think it could be related to the imposter delusion, also known as copgrass delusion, where you see people that you know, their faces, but you don't believe that it's actually them, that it's an imposter taking their place, and it's not the real family member that you're talking to. So that's another weird one, and we might get into that later. So it's thought to be caused by misfiring neurons in the part of the brain known as the fusiform face area, which is kind of like the bottom frontal part of it. It's hard to explain. So some suspected causes include a neurological or mental illness, physical trauma to the brain, a brain tumor, migraines, or, or depression. And in one case, uh, this patient had an adverse reaction to a medication called acyclovir, which is an antiviral. Um, the patient had poor kidney function, which caused a high level of the medication to be in their bloodstream. Even with lowering the dose, they weren't able to process it and they were still having these delusions, so they had to go through dialysis. And then after the dialysis, those delusions went away. How weird is that? Like, that's probably the only documented case. I have no idea. So the treatment for this condition, other than if you need hemodialysis, would be antidepressants, antipsychotics, or mood stabilizers to try to control the issues that you're having. So if you watch Untold Stories of the ER, you might remember that this was on their show and she came into the ER practically unconscious. She's laying in the bed and they keep shaking her and wake up, wake up, what, are you, what have you been doing? What have you been eating? And she literally just like is half passed out and she's like, I don't need to eat. And the doctor's like, oh, why? Everyone needs to eat. And she literally looks him dead ass in the eyes and goes, I'm dead. And I'm like, <laughs> this is some good acting right here. I appreciate you. <laughs> so then it's like scary music, dun dun. What do you mean you're dead? Okay. So sh this person, this patient in this situation had this syndrome, thought she was dead, no longer needing to eat. So a lot of these patients also suffer from this, so they don't eat, therefore they have starvation issues, uh, nutrition issues, uh, electrolyte imbalances, which will inevitably cause their actual death if left untreated. So she left AMA the first time, ended up there like a week later, like she coded, she totally died. The doctor who treated her there was there again and he was like, I know she has electrolyte balance, let's try giving her some electrolytes while we're coding her. Totally brought her back to life, no deficits. She's lucky. Um, and she came back like a month later to like say hello and show them how she was doing and she, was, she sought psychiatric treatment and she is better now according to the show. So that's great. There's other cases where people who have been in, a man who was in a motorcycle accident and had lots of brain trauma to multiple different areas developed this syndrome and then um, throughout his time being treated he would kind of have it more or less like he saw an ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist and they found that he had more worsening damage to his eyes. Eventually it just resolved itself. So in his case, it just 
kind of got better. And even though he was still able to, like, with the therapist, like, that person's dead, that person's living. And then they're like, okay, what are you? And he's like, I'm dead. And they're like, no, you're not. So I can see how this would be a difficult um, disease to cope with. And probably you just, like, get really pissed at your family members. Like, why do you not believe me? I'm telling you that I'm dead. And I'm like, so... Good luck to anybody out there who is suffering from this, and I hope that you seek treatment. All right, guys, so this was a weird one. Tell me what you think. I know I'm not in my usual filming station. I was sitting in my computer, and I filmed a video, and I'm editing it, and I'm like, this video sucks. Like, I did a terrible job. I hate it. So I'm, like, scrapping the whole thing. I'm going to redo it. And I happen to have some nice lighting in here because it's the morning, and I've been up all night because I work night shift. And so I thought I would just get a video out and so I could actually edit it and get it up because I really enjoy uploading. Like I really enjoy watching the video like get two views and I'm like, ah, two views and one of them was mine. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you check out the playlist that I have linked somewhere floating around here. And if you like it, please comment or give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I would love it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.